oh yeah we have another one we have um Dachavelli decided to come out and make a statement regarding his situation which again man it's disappointing and sad to see him go through this to be honest especially when you consider how you know the trajectory he was on prior to the allegations that came out about him concerning a family friend texts were leaked um dms were leaked sorry um which kind of made it seem as if he was uh you know exchanging some sort of weird flirtatious messages with somebody that he deemed to be a family friend who was very young it was just a whole complete mess and unfortunately um maybe because he's new in the industry maybe because because of where he's from Dachavelli just didn't respond to it well he kind of tried to bully boy uh he tried to badman himself out of this allegations and that obviously didn't resonate too well with people on social media then he tried to go silent and run away that didn't go go well with social media then he tried to kind of act like nothing happened that didn't go as good with social media then he did that whole thing about fake news and that the, the dms were manipulated that didn't go well with social media and essentially we're in a position where you know the family of the girl who alleged a crime have come out and basically said or who, or who have alleged the untoward contact have basically said there was, there's no issue we know dutch he's a family friend nothing's going on there uh, i think at one point the mum even basically said that oh it was actually me in the dms not my daughter which was way you know too much to even handle and comprehend of how nasty would actually hit when you consider they're supposed to be meant to be family but whatever you continue and then it got to a point where the family were okay with it so as a, you know as a the view in public we just had to move on because if the family are cool with it we just have to go even if we don't you know necessarily think it's um, all the way kosher it's not our place to kind of tell people how to interpret the actions of people within their family and then it seems like it went completely silent and dead out here for dutch and i said it to a lot of people He's just unlucky that in the UK we just we just have a really zero tolerance policy really for people that are involved in anything to do with kiddie feeling. It's just this is what it is. Anything to do with underage stuff, it's just always going to be a bad day for you. Like people are still making jokes about Tim Westwood to this day, and I think a lot of the allegations against him were you know whatever they were, but people are still not letting him live that live that down do you know what i mean it's just there's a thing in here in the uk which i'm really proud of where we just don't really stand for anything that kind of can be misconstrued as you know peter behavior we're just not gonna have it and unfortunately for dutch he happened to be one of the victims of it and now he's basically suffering the consequences because he you know people aren't necessarily messing with him in that way now i still think he can maintain a career if he's happy with just performing in front of his fans and touring in that way but if he wants to be part of the music industry and stand next to certain people and do certain records it's just not going to happen um people are no one say they're ethically inclined or have morals or anything or have some sort of moral compass it's more so about disrupting the bag they don't want their artists they manage their event that they're promoting to be associated with somebody who they deem to be unfavorable with the public or with brands and with sponsors so he's in this crap position where if he's just happy performing for his fans he'll be fine if he wants to be part of an industry it, that's completely much over and look at the damage it's made for his sister do you know what I mean um Steph London you know she can't post a picture without people making some sort of joke or insinuation as to what Dutch went through you know last year and whatnot so it's definitely impacted the entire family I think the other sister even got involved in some beef and anyway um Dutch decided to come out again and speak about the issue just to kind of you know try and rewrite the narrative and I don't know man I don't know it's probably a waste of time but let's play what we have to say so Dutch Valley speaks out again amidst allegations of him messaging a 14 year old girl also calls out Bouncer and Charlie Sleuth. Right, we have to talk about this. My video is still trending. Three days later. My little boy, no YouTube ads. Yeah, man, look at no support from these blogs. Man, it's still trending three days later. You see, these rappers with all the support of my mother's life, they're still not trending three days later. It's sad, that's why I can't even bother to go back and forth with them. You know them way there, I'm lit. I am turned. That's a disappointing thing about it though, right? He's obviously definitely got a fan base that loves and supports him and then he got himself in a situation that he probably could have you know uh, not got himself into and now his career has suffered for it, you know? Read it, learn. Best way to beat someone is to destroy them. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's crazy how I come out with man's come out with proof, paperwork to say, yo, police done an investigation twice and said, yo, this is bullshit. I understand my man ain't talking to no minor in that form. 
the people are like, why is he talking to a minor? Yo. That's like my family, bro. You understand? I ain't gonna explain to you why I'm talking to a minor. You understand? I'm not talking to no random minor. That's a wild sentence, though, isn't it? I don't have to explain to you why I'm talking to a minor. I don't know, brother. You probably do, innit? it? And if you do explain it, you better make sure your explanation is watertight because, you know. You know like that? You see this game, though? It's mad for gays, you know? Because when you, when you deep it, most of these blogs that we follow, we follow them for the latest news and the latest trends, bro. But these, these blogs now have turned to... That is there to like throw shade on people when someone's downfall is there, they're the quickest to hand read it. Yeah, but you should know that. That's standard. I think he's what he's basically getting at, you know, the fact that these blogs will, you know, build you up or, you know, speak well of you when you're lit and then as soon as you go down they're taking, you know, shots and happy in your glee. It's just engagement, of course. When you're on your rise and people are looking for your content and your music and they can get something out of it, of course they're going to capitalise on it. And if you're on your last legs and you're damn bad, then you should expect them also to kick you whilst you're down too and stomp on your head. That is just part of the game. It is what it is. That's what you you know, put kind of put yourself um, in the line of when you put yourself in this entertainment industry thing. But the funny thing is that he's kind of surprised that, you know, the fact that he was able to kind of, you know, uh, pop off so quickly in a short period of time I think he had like a year period or 18 months where he just went from 0 to 100 really really quickly that he's under he's surprised that people you know his fellow rappers peers in the industry took the opportunity to basically you know destroy him and to kind of destroy his character off the back of his allegations of course they would why wouldn't they the easiest way to get somebody out of the paint especially if they haven't you know especially if it's not an artistic thing it's not like he put out a dud record or whatever he did something allegedly untoward something that is socially um you know socially unacceptable in any way shape or form especially here in the uk and essentially the community decided that hey this guy's done for and of course they'll take advantage of it it's unfortunate but it's not really a, shouldn't really be a surprise if you're somebody like a dutch i wouldn't suspect anyway especially considering where he's come from like this is part of the game isn't it it's the highlight you know what i'm saying quick to highlight i was thinking bro how are these blogs moving so mad and again, where, where was all this introspective sort of like reasoned, um, rational, level-headed conversations and speaking? Uh, where was all this commentary when it was actually happening? Like I said, he tried to bad boy himself out of this, right? Or, or whatever, right? He tried to bully boy himself out of the situation and it backfired, you know, in, in epic, epic levels. I'm just basically shape brothers in my On my name. And then when I'm... Behind the scenes, the man sending them stuff saying, yo, see what you're posting there, it's not right. They're saying, no, they don't want to post this. But they're posting every, every other thing. They're posting shit where people are coming in their song. It's anything. You know what I mean? I'm thinking right away that I realise, I'm not even going to say his name, I'm just going to say the snitch. I put paperwork out on my Insta story. I see people still fucking the snitch, he got dropped out, but I dig that guy, he's a snitch. He's been holding feelings for a minute, so when this thing popped off now, so the snitch up now, I'm saying, bro, these people are jumping up. I'm saying this field rapper jumping up, that I was trying to put on, I was trying to put him on my mixtape. I was trying to put him on my mixtape, I'm saying, bro, jump on this tune. Anyway, you, you get the drift in it. It's it's unfortunate <laughs> that this thing's happened of his course when you're considering somebody's career, but considering the allegations, I, I don't know what this guy actually expected. I think it's a bit naive to expect people to just, you know, assume the best and to have the best intentions with people. That's not how the internet works. No one gives you the benefit of the doubt. If there's a smoking gun, people are going to run with it. If there's a inkling that you might have done something untoward, people are going to run with it. <laughs> It's just the nature of the game. And like I said, if he's happy just being, you know, an artist that plays directly to his fans, you know, plays, you know, in front of, you know, whatever limited audiences, doesn't necessarily have the industry backing in front of camera. I'm sure people behind the, cam behind the scenes probably mess with him and still say, hey, this thing is bullshit, but won't, aren't willing to step out and take pictures with him on his Instagram and shit and, you know, collaborate and whatnot. 
it is what it is. The game is a game. He's probably, you know, going to have a hard time getting on some of those wireless stages and stuff this year. Two with festivals, which is probably going to be a big blow to the ego. But, you know, what can you do, man? This is a game you're in, isn't it? This is the game you're in. This is the game that you're in.